Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 161 of the Aspirations Challenge. It is one o'clock in the morning. Kato, ha he was in bed a few hours ago, but there have been a few changes. Uh, basically, he woke up at about 10.30 to lay at his door with Blair in her hands, and she had just had enough. Blair is only a year old, but she doesn't want to be a parent anymore. She tried it for a year, couldn't do it. Uh, especially as she became a toddler. I think things just got way too hard for her. And basically she left Blair here with Kato in his care. And he is the new primary caregiver, which is a really scary thought because, I mean, he spent time with both of his kids, but not a lot of time with them. And I don't think he has any idea how to be a dad, but He's gonna attempt it. He still does have Jada's help. She is probably gonna pass away any day now. I don't know how much longer she's gonna be around for. I'm thinking about maybe buying her the potion of, of youth if we can afford it. Uh, because I would honestly, I'd like to have her around for a bit longer. And we do have the potion of youth. It's 1500 simoleons. So I'm gonna buy that. Um, I'm just trying to think here if this is the right option. It does feel a little bit cheaty, but I'm not, um, I guess I'm not really even cheating and I am using a perk, which is something in the game that doesn't require a cheat to obtain, but I'm, it's not like I'm extending her life so that she can complete her aspiration. That part's already done. The challenge part of this is done. So I think it might not be the worst idea to extend her life a little bit. So I'm actually going to have her wake up and drink the potion of youth. Um, I want her to be around just, I mean, not just to help Kato raise... Ugh. Blair, but also just because I like Jada and I feel like I don't get a lot of time with my Sims. I, I, their lives are just too short. So we're going to drink that and go back to bed. And meanwhile, Blair, she has eaten. I think we'll just have her. This bedroom was intended for Kayla, but we're going to actually give it to Blair because I mean, Kayla doesn't live here and maybe she will eventually, but she doesn't yet. So I'm going to have her go to bed. I think I'm going to get rid of the arcade machine too. I think the, the noise that it makes is just a little bit frustrating. Poor Blair. She's feeling angry, tired from low energy. I feel bad for her though. She's like all the way down in this room by herself. Maybe I'll have to change that. Um, you know what we could always do is get rid of this area here where the dance floor is and just change that into an actual bedroom. I do like the... Um, the see-through floor though I think it's pretty cool but again it's it's not practical and Kato is gonna have to make some changes in his household to accommodate for a toddler uh, I do think that he is probably excited about raising his daughter I think that he feels like he never really got a chance to do that and I really do think that he'd be happy about having her around but of course it's gonna be a major adjustment for him I don't think he realizes how much work it is uh, and then also, I mean, Kayla, he's still, he's wanted custody of Kayla for a long time, or I guess not just, uh, not full custody, but he has wanted Kayla and Maria to move in. And Maria is just not convinced that he is serious about that. So that's kind of why she's been holding off. Uh, I'm going to have Jada come downstairs and make some breakfast. I think that she's going to be a very hands-on grandparent. She's going to have to show Kato how to be a parent and definitely give him some help as well. Um, okay, so he is showering and then does he have a vacuum cleaner? We need to vacuum this house. It is really gross. The maid does it now and then, but not nearly that often. He's also feeling depressed because the dog ran away, so I think I'm going to... Um, pristine reputation. That's really interesting. I would never peg um, Kato... That way, Kato is a shining beacon of positivity for the community, passing by other sims with illicit friendly waves and cheerful smiles as everyone's day is brightened by his presence. Friends will become more forgiving if he commits any social miscues and they won't be quick to judge him. Finally, Kato has earned the credibility to host his very own charity benefit parties. Gather other do-gooders together for a fun time while contributing towards excellent causes. Children don't receive the full range of benefits based on their reputation until they become teenagers. Okay. So basically, it sounds like um, he could throw another kind of social event as well. Why is he crying? Uh, everything feels a bit dirty. So, I mean, yeah, I would have to agree, but I thought the maid would just be, like, way better at 
taking care of the house and it seems like maybe not also i did give uh jada a little bit of a makeover to sort of um bring her look into a more elder suitable style still likes to wear her um like birkenstock type sandals that's definitely her thing she's still very like casual and sporty but just uh something that's more suited for an elder power conservation day I do not accept. I'm going to have to <laughs> repeal that because I think it's dumb. There we go. Get rid of that. And Blair is still asleep. I'm going to leave her in bed for now. So now these two are going to have to smooth apology. I don't know why she needs to apologize, but we're going to do that. And then definitely talk about um, him becoming a, a parent, basically. Ask about future plans. That's a good idea. Also, I think I have to get rid of this thing. It's driving me absolutely nuts. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't do it anymore. I don't know what I'm going to put in that spot, but uh, I can't listen to that thing any longer. It was fun while it lasted. That was the first change he made as an adult, basically, is selling his arcade game. Um, what else could we do? Break about shredding. Back in my day. We could do that, I guess. Looks like Christmas is coming up as well. I don't know. Should we celebrate Christmas? I think it might be kind of interesting to do that because, yeah, I mean, this is going to be interesting. If we had Maria and Kayla come over, we would definitely have a very interesting Christmas. But I feel like we don't celebrate Christmas enough. I pretty much always just skip right over it, which was never really my intention. I just feel like I don't have enough time to prepare for it because you don't get the notification until, like, I don't know, a day before the event, and that's just not enough time for me. Also, why can I not find the Christmas tree? I feel like it's probably right in front of me. I'm usually pretty good at finding these things. Christmas in... There we go. There's the Christmas tree. So we'll get that. And I don't really know what else we should buy. You might should have done is just clicked on like show, show decorations, but no, I didn't. Jordan, no, no, thank you. I think they should have a big Christmas party. I think that would be really fun. So I'm gonna have, uh, is it tomorrow? Let me just check the calendar again. Yeah, it is tomorrow. Also, why is she sad? Depressed, there's a loss in the family. Okay, I don't. I don't actually remember that, but okay. I'm gonna have Blair come up and grab some omelet. And Jada needs to have some fun. Uh, her idea of fun is kind of complicated though because she's not one that likes to sit around and watch TV or anything. She likes to be active, so I'll see if the TV actually helps with her fun. Looks like it's not too bad. Um, another thing I'm gonna do is actually clean this up. I think this is um, this is mostly Jada's influence. She just doesn't want to look at the mess anymore. So I think we're gonna we're gonna, this place is slowly gonna get better. Um, not just from Kato growing up, I guess, but also just from Jada not wanting to see it anymore. And I don't blame her. <laughs> I don't blame her at all. Uh, I want to put some Christmas decorations around, but I don't really. There's like the Nutcracker thing. I don't know. I don't want to spend too much time doing this. What is that? I think I like it. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it has nothing to do with Christmas, but I really wanted it. Uh, I should put like a stack of presents as well, which is another thing that I can never find. There we go. There's these ones. I'll put those there. I think that should be good for now. I really wish there was an easier way to find Christmas decorations because I feel like it's just, it's too complicated. Uh, I wanted to put something outside. Maybe we'll just do like the little reindeer thing. This, again, this is all Jada. She never really did this before, but I think now that she has grandkids, um, I think she kind of wants to do more Christmassy type things. I'm going to put this wreath like kind of up there. I think that that should be good enough. I don't, I just don't know what else we can do. I think there is like a special Christmas light that you can buy. So maybe we'll do that. Uh, which one is it? This one. Good enough. That's as Christmassy as it can possibly get around here. So 
I'm gonna have her, I don't know if she'll enjoy this, but we'll try decorating uh, with Kato. I don't think Kato would want to decorate the Christmas tree, but we're gonna see if he can put any effort into that. Okay, honestly, not that bad. Okay, really not that bad at all. Um, also, I'm gonna have Kato go and potty train Blair. So tomorrow we'll have everybody come over for like the Christmas dinner part of things. Uh, and by everybody, I think I mean Kayla and Maria. Um, decorate ornaments, whatever, yellow and white. I don't really care. And Kenji is calling even though he's not alive. Um, yes, potty train Blair. I'm going to click it again just in case it didn't work the first time. Oh, it did. Okay, we're good. Oh, good. Jada's having fun doing this. Okay, I wasn't sure if she would actually enjoy it, but it looks like she is. So that's good. We'll put this here. Oh, look at you getting into the Christmas spirit. <laughs> that's kind of what I was hoping for. And then got to clean up some plates because, again, the maid sucks and she doesn't do it herself. And then I think we should maybe have him brighten her day and play as well. I just feel really bad for this kid. Her mom pretty much abandoned her just because she doesn't like kids. Um, garland, popcorn, and cranberry. Sure. I'm just doing whatever random things with the Christmas tree. I just want it fully decorated. Don't really care what it looks like. Also, it looks like Gemma has come back, so that's nice. Uh, she'll probably need a bath. Let me just make her happy. There we go. Okay, now what are you doing? Um, this house, it just needs so much done to it. I mean, it's not that bad, and it looks like the outside is decorated. There is some garland and some snowflakes, so it's not that bad. Um, there is, It's covered in graffiti, though. The inside, it's still just a total party place. So I think that we will slowly start to change those things. It won't be like this forever. Uh, as much as I like it, I do think that Kato is going to outgrow this style. Hopefully. What's with Blair? Oh, did she not eat food? I don't think she did. I don't think she really wanted the omelet. Let's just go grab a serving of mac and cheese. I think she'd prefer that. Where is Kato? He's shoveling snow. Man, he's a different guy. <laughs> He really is. Like, this is not something he would have cared about. Hey, handsome, do you want to go on a date today? I can wait for you to get ready. Uh, no. Not, I just, no. <laughs> We're taking a bit of a break from dating because, like, we have too many kids and you just never know. Uh, maybe we should go and produce a new track, though, for work. I don't know when his deadline for the next one is, but I don't want to miss it. Oh, doofka. There we go. He can do that for a bit. She's bored. Okay, she's like, yeah, this is getting old. How long does this take? There we go. There's our Christmas tree. Uh, yeah, bored from frequent traveler lifestyle. So I think she would rather be traveling right now. Um, I think I'm going to have Blair. Maybe Blair and her grandma could like play outside for a bit. Let's try that. I don't know. I'm just thinking of something that Jada can do that involves her at least being outside, if not a little bit active. No, no, I didn't mean to cancel it. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, yeah, too late. Yeah, too late. All right, we got to start over, basically. Um, you have to click on it while he's still playing and click burn track, which I should have known by now. Where are you going? No, 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 no. Come back outside. I mean, yeah, it took Blair a little while to get out here, but she's she's here. She's waiting to build a snowman. Uh, build snow pal with Blair. I definitely want them to have a closer relationship too, so they can kind of build their relationship while they do this. And I think it's adorable. There's also that. I think it's, the relationship here could be really adorable. And because we know that Jada is going to be around for a lot longer now, she can actually have a stronger bond with Blair. Okay, let's burn this track. And go to the washroom. 
And I do, I really want to throw a party. We could maybe throw, what do we have here? We have to do one more party and one more social event at a unique location, which I'm probably just going to wait until we get invited to do something else. Um, to do that one, because if someone invites you out, it basically counts towards one of those unique location parties. So we'll do that. Um, Easter egg, day of grieving. Is there like a Christmas type party? A seasonal party. We could do that. I don't think that counts as... You know what? We'll, we'll see. I have no idea if this is going to count. Or hold on a second. We could always do tomorrow as our seasonal party. I don't know. Yeah, no, we'll wait till tomorrow because tomorrow is actually Christmas Day and we could even turn that into like a dinner party. We could somehow make that a party. Uh, when people trust you, Kato, they listen to you. No, everybody's always offering me a job <laughs> and it's really annoying. Uh, Blair needs to have a nap. So I'm going to have her go sleep on the couch for a bit. And what are you up to? She's still bored. This woman, she's not happy unless she's traveling, and it's a little bit frustrating because I don't want to constantly travel. Just can't you just like watch TV for a bit? And because she like because she's old, I thought she would just slow down a little bit, and that is not happening. She is as active as ever. Okay, Kato. What can he do? I don't even really know what he could do. There's not much. Uh, we could always invite Kayla over, but I guess I don't want to do that because she's going to be over tomorrow anyway, so there's really no point. I'm going to have him go watch TV. Jada could... She's kind of tired. I think I'm going to have her come grab some leftovers. And then I'll have him do the same. And then Blair. Where'd she go? Oh, I think turning on the TV kind of disrupted her. Let's Let's potty train. I want to get her potty trained so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Also, we have 87,000 simoleons, so I think Kayla is going to be really set up. Uh, don't forget, in case you just don't remember or haven't watched the previous episodes, Blair is not the actual heir for this generation. It's Kayla. So Blair is um, not exactly important to the storyline, but I mean, she's around. But yeah, we don't have to worry about actually making her the heir. Um, let's grab some food and then they can share whatever is in here. Maria, I'm in the mood to get together. Hold on a second. Hey, handsome, I'm in the mood. Want to spend some time together? Uh, no, that's a really bad idea, especially because that call started so flirty. And I think it's a bad idea. As a parent, he may have to get better at putting his child to bed. It's 10 p.m. and she still hasn't, like, eaten. She doesn't need a lot of food, but, yeah, we definitely need to work on that. Jada can clean this plate up and go to bed. I'm actually pretty excited for them to celebrate Christmas tomorrow. I think that's going to be exciting. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's nothing. I've done it a million times in this game, but they have just such an interesting family. It'll be, it'll be a fun time. Kato can go to bed. I'm gonna have her like scarf this down and go to bed as well. There we go. I love that they updated the game um, so that your Sims eat faster. I think that is so useful. Turn off all the lights. Also, how old is this child? I'm not even really sure. She ages up in five days. So I believe she is one day younger than Kayla. So that means Kayla will probably age up in four days. But I could be a little bit off on that. Why is this phone ringing? Yo, you gonna work on more music? We need a new track. It better be good too. If we don't get it soon, we might have to drop you. Okay, that's a little bit stressful. Um, Oh my god, our house is so dirty again. I think I'll have him get up like first thing in the morning and do a new track because... Oh wait, we have one. We just have to release it. I think I forgot about that. God, our house is yucky. <laughs> the bus that does is so bad. I mean, it's it's They even fixed it and it's bad. So the fixed version is really terrible. Okay, let's go release our track. They want new music right away, so we'll do that. 
go to the washroom, take a shower. Uh, I'll have Jada do the same. And Blair is actually good to stay in bed for a little bit longer. Um, should she like make me make breakfast or something? I don't know. I don't know if we should have everyone over for dinner or f like for present opening. I don't know. Also, why don't we have a sink? Isn't that really weird <laughs> that this house came with a dishwasher but not a kitchen sink? I'm going to put one in because it seems pretty important. There we go. That way, when the dishwasher is broken, like it is right now, <laughs> I can just use the sink. Okay, so it looks like they're celebrating traditions, so that's good. Um, Kato can come downstairs. Blair, I think Blair should probably stay in bed for a little bit longer, so I'll leave her to do that. I think we'll have everyone over for dinner. That kind of makes more sense. Um, and also, I don't know how the situation is going to work. Like, if Lae, Blair's mom, will still be in the picture or not. I'm thinking probably not. Uh, I'm not sure if she will, like, show up at the house. So far, she hasn't come over even once. And normally, like, if parents are split up and live in different households, the other parent will come over as often as possible. Even if they're not invited, they come over all the time to see their kids. And I do find it interesting that Lae hasn't done that once. So I don't, I don't think we'll be seeing very much of her. Um, we'll also do vacuum to perfection because the house is so gross. And I'm thinking we could maybe potty train Blair. I don't think she's fully potty trained yet. So I'm going to do that. Um, actually, let me just see here. Oh, she is. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's have her come back over here. Um, also, we just got a lot of money. How much did we get? Oh, so yeah, uh, we're getting royalty reports from Jada as well because she used to have the videos. And it looks like uh, Kato makes pretty good money too. So we are saving up quite a bit of money for Blair, which is nice because I like, or not Blair, it's actually Kayla. Um, I don't know, I like having, who doesn't like having money in this game? But I don't want to start in a starter home with the next generation. I do want her to be able to have a good start in life. And I think we're going to have quite a bit of money. We're at 91,000 and Kayla is not even a child yet. So I think she's going to be quite well off. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's what you get when you teleport your toddlers. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, Jesus. I don't know. Okay, you know what? Just, just wherever you are, figure it out. Uh, so she's feeling depressed, feeling hurt by someone, and she needs amusement. So I'm going to have her go potty, and then I think I will move some toys over so she can play with them. Uh, does she have any in her inventory? She doesn't. You know what? I'll have her just go play dolls when she's done. Um, I really did want to have like everybody over for Christmas, and I don't have a lot of time left in this episode, so I think I'm just going to invite over Maria and Kayla. I was going to do like a Christmas dinner, but I think that I don't know if we have enough time for that. Okay, so Maria is coming over. And as for Lei, I don't think we're going to see a lot of her. I don't really plan on inviting her over or anything like that. There's probably some weird feelings between these two. And I just I don't see myself actually inviting Lei into his life. Uh, okay, so there's Kayla. Oh, oh, that is interesting. I pretty much just said I wanted nothing to do with her, and it looks like she's coming over to visit Blair on Christmas Day. We have two baby mamas standing side by side. How can I not get a screenshot of this? Um, oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> I wanted the game to pause, and I unpaused it. Um, yeah, I find it interesting that she's here right now. I really don't think that... I, I'm not going to, like, socialize with her in any way. I don't really have an interest in that. There we go. I got. I did get a screenshot of both of them. I don't know why she's so happy. You know what? We should go over here. Yeah, no, no. I was going to yell at her, but at the same time, I think that he's grateful that she's here, So, or that Blair is here. So maybe he's not going to start drama with her. Kato, your reputation is everything. Uh, no, I don't want a job. Let's go over to Maria and see if we can maybe give her a Christmas gift. Uh, what do we have? 
Let's give her a broken fossil valued at $10. <laughs> I just want to hit some traditions, basically. That's all I'm here for. And where's Kayla? She's right here. Um, yeah, she can come over, or she can come in if she wants to, I guess. I don't know if she's going to be into this, but we'll try. I'm just taking a couple of screenshots for this episode. Uh, maybe I will have Jada make a turkey dinner. I don't know if that's going to, that's what people want. Nobody's hungry, so it's really not that necessary. I'm trying to find some Christmas. Oh, no, don't complain. Don't complain. This is his first Christmas with his kids, so I don't really want to complain about it. I think that he's happy to have everyone here. Um, I'm not seeing any Christmas things. Share Christmas spirit? Oh, oh, that was a romantic interaction that I did not ask for. That was a little bit awkward. You know, if Maria wasn't evil, I would almost think those two could have a chance, but I don't want Kato to be with an evil sim. Okay, oh, you know what? Have these two interacted at all? all uh let me think here i don't think that they have even met or have they how can i not remember these things can she she can't even meet her sister well i think i'm gonna have to force a relationship so that they can actually um interact because it's kind of weird that they can't no it's not working okay that is really too bad I would love for these two to be able to interact, but there's no options for that. So I guess that's not going to happen. Okay, Jada. Um, oh, another thing we could do is maybe open gifts together. Or we could also, you know what, if I can get, oh no, I was going to have everyone come over here and like sing just so I could get a photo. I don't know where, okay, Lae is leaving. She's over there. Maria, I don't know where she went. I'm sure she's around. I don't think she would like, I don't think she would really leave. Well, also what the maid came and just dumped this garbage next to the door. Thank you for that. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, um, Blair is hungry. I'm going to get some food out of the fridge. I am genuinely disappointed that I can't have Blair and Kayla have any interactions at all because I would really like them to. Um, stop offering me jobs. I don't want that. Uh, let's maybe open presents or... Oh, here's a present pile right here. Open presents with uh, Maria and Jada. Lae was not invited to this party. She showed up briefly and we pretty much just ignored her. Is Maria coming? I invited her to open gifts, but I have n Oh, she's coming. Okay. I wasn't sure exactly where she went. And it looks like Blair did grab a plate of food, so hopefully she can eat and just be happy. I guess Jada was not impressed with her gift. Oh, yeah. oh, that's because she got one large pet poop as a gift. So, yeah, she's not impressed. <laughs> These two are kind of cute. Like, they, they are kind of cute. I wish I could trade like trade out her trait. I feel like that would be worth doing. I, it's definitely cheaty, though, so I should I should not do that. But I really do want to. <laughs> Uh, let's see if Jada and Kato can light the tree together. I don't know if this is stuff that Kato would necessarily care about, but I do think that Jada wants to do some sort of family stuff. That, that's it. The tree is lit. I feel like nothing changed. <laughs> I guess it's kind of sparkling now and it wasn't before. That's pretty much it. Um, oh, Join playing dolls. I think maybe they could meet that way if Blair comes over here and plays with Kayla. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm definitely going to try because I want these two to have some sort of relationship. I don't know if it'll be a good relationship or a bad one. I haven't really thought that through. I'm just going to kind of play out the story and see what happens. Um, but I think it'd be kind of cute if these two could be close. Okay, what are you doing? Oh my god. I have no idea what this child is doing. I really wanted them to meet. Yeah, no. Okay. Uh, let's have him come over here and belly laugh. Who is this now? Oh my good God. I don't want to join any clubs. I don't have time for it. Uh, since he doesn't live with Kayla, I feel like we should give her a little bit extra attention. 
I do wish there was a way to like introduce the toddlers, but there really isn't. I definitely want him to try to be the best dad that he can be. I'm not sure if it's it's second nature for Kato. Probably not. But I definitely think he's going to try. Apologize? I don't know what he did, but he apparently owes Kayla an apology. Um, can we put it on the slide, maybe? Help toddler climb? Yeah, we'll do that. See, he has to kind of divide his attention between the two kids, and since they're so close in age, their needs are pretty much the same. I really, I, the, the changes I've seen in Kato are so adorable. I kind of miss his party days. Like, I really did enjoy that. Um, but at the same time, this is really interesting. That goes, like, directly into the pool. That could be extremely dangerous. But but look how cute he is. Like, the, these changes are adorable. I, um, I think I'm still going to have him throw the occasional house party. I don't think he'll completely give up that lifestyle. But I do think we'll also see him doing a lot of different social events, um, like, kids birthday parties and kids pool parties and just things that are directed more towards children. I think that's what we're going to see from Kato. I guess Kayla's leaving. I don't know. Okay, we'll just give up. <laughs> just let her go wherever she wants to go. Uh, Blair is doing good. She's playing dolls now, so I think that she's going to be much happier. Jada is in the gym. Of course she is. That does not surprise me at all. Um, hey beautiful, I'm the most I'm in the mood, wanna spend some time together. That's her dead husband calling. Uh so I think I'm gonna pretty much end everything here. I was gonna do like a Christmas dinner, but I feel like I've pretty much gone over the time. So maybe I'll have Jada cook a, a dinner and I don't think that Maria is still around. Oh, she's still around. Okay. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll just fast forward a little bit till that dinner is made and then we could have a family dinner to end the episode. It does take a long time, like a surprisingly long time though. Like it'll be hours before this turkey is actually done. Uh, Jordan is calling now. This is just annoying. Uh, maybe I'll actually have Kato and um, Blair come into the kitchen and like wait for the food. I, I wanna make sure Maria doesn't leave. Is she still around? Looks like she is. Oh my god, the phone calls today are so ridiculous. And, th and this is taking a very long time, by the way, to cook this food. Okay, come on, Jada. Put that in the oven. It's It'll be hours before this turkey is actually done. I mostly just want to do the tradition. Also, Jada really has to go to the bathroom. I'm just, I'm going to cheat her. Oops, that was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I think I canceled the turkey. Oh, there we go. It's still in the oven. Yes, I cheated her mood because I just want to get this turkey out and have like this tradition checked off. That way, everybody will have had a good Christmas and they'll be happy tomorrow. They won't be in a bad mood. Oh my god, the amount of phone calls is just absolutely out of control. <laughs> All of her siblings and like dead spouses are calling. Call to grand meal. I don't know who's going to be around for this. Um, I need to get going. Oh, Kayla leaves right as she rings the dinner bell. So nobody's coming to eat this? Is that what I'm hearing? Uh, yeah, that was basically pointless. I thought they would all like sit together at the table, but Maria's not even here anymore. So it is what it is. We're going to end the episode here and hopefully they'll be in a good mood tomorrow because I do think this Christmas was pretty good. Um, they checked off a lot of the um, traditions. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.